hello in this lecture I'm going to show you how you can create a variable product in WooCommerce this is a question one of my viewers recently asked and I think making a video to address that will be valuable so this is a Mac demo asked this question how to create a variable product so this is your video showing you how to create a variable product and thank you for asking that question okay so this is my FAQ video if you have doubts leave your comments down in the comment section or make video answering your questions okay so let's talk about variable products what are they what is a variable product we have two type of products a simple product and a variable product a variable product is a product with different variations let's take t-shirt for example a t-shirt has different sizes that is small medium and large not just that but it also has it may also come with different colors blue orange and green so with diff a variable product customers can select the color of the product and then choose the size and the price will also adjust accordingly after that they add your product to uh, cart and then check out okay and that's a variable product okay so when i choose my color orange you can see the product image too is adjusting accordingly as well as the price okay now let's talk about simple product simple product do not have this attribute what happens is is this a simple product line here with simple or a single color with one size there's nothing there to change it's just there you can only change increase the quantity and then add to cart and check out so i'm going to be showing you how to create a variable product all right are you ready let's go so to create a variable product just create your product okay so to create a product you go to new and create your product i hope this process is easy now once you have your product simple product created just like this make sure you edit your product so you click on edit okay click on edit and we are on the edit page we want to create attributes so first you go to attributes and click on attributes and there are attributes here if your product has attributes already you can go ahead and delete those attributes so let's delete them and create new attributes okay so let's create new attributes okay so we have deleted our attributes now let's create new attributes so first the attribute will be color and then you add attribute The second attribute will be size and then you add attribute so these are two attributes color and size okay now you click on the color so that's the first attribute just click on it now with this color you, you let's give our color the actual colors so the first color will be let's say orange okay so orange add color the second one will be blue blue add and the third one will be green okay add to color okay so we have assigned the actual colors to the main attribute color okay let's go back so you can click on attributes again and then 
this time around let's click on size so you click on size here we have small so s stands for small you add new size so you click on add new and small is here the next one is medium so m you add and the last one is l which is large then you add good let's click on attributes now we have created two attributes with the actual attributes and that they are called terms so color you have blue green orange size you have large medium uh, small okay so these are the actual attributes the next thing we are going to do is to go to the actual product so let's go to the actual product so we click on all products okay and this is the product we want to edit okay so you click on edit this is the edit page you can see from here from simple product click on it and then change it to variable product okay so change it to variable product and then you come to attributes and click on attributes okay click on attributes once you have that clicked so you click on attribute you click here again so you click here and then you choose your first attribute that's color and then you click on add okay click on it again and then click on size and click on add okay now you have selected your attributes that's color and your size inside here the value field just click on select all so click on select all and here too your size click on select all okay Come back to the color and click on use for variation so you click on this and also use for variation that's for the size click on here and then save attribute good we have saved the attributes what next go to variations just below the attributes so you go to variations and then you click on variations now here you see this add variation click on that so you click on that and then click create variations for all attributes so you click on that and then you click on what go and then okay now nine variations added click on okay and wait for it to load and as you can see these are the variations so each color that's the blue has large medium and small green too has large medium small orange has large medium small you can see so it's not time for us to add prices to individual variation and then add assign the images to those variations okay so let's do that see here guess here click here all right and then you can see this is an image and it's what blue t-shirt so you click on blue you click on the image and then let's pick the image this is the one we want so this is blue so you pick it you pick it and then set variation image you can set let's set the price straight away okay so we're not be moving ba back and forth okay so regular price let's put it uh, 200 dollars uh, 200 cities so this is in Ghana cities okay you can put it on sale all right but this video is not for that 
so that one is okay we are done with that the second variation which is the blue medium so you just click here assign your image that is blue image the same image set and this one you can also you can put 300 okay the third one do the same select your image and then your price that's your regular price maybe 400 the next one the same thing but this is let me go back this is a green t-shirt so yeah so this is green t-shirt green large so you select a green t-shirt which is here which is here select and then you set the price as 100 okay let's go down we are still dealing with the green so select that select your green t-shirt set price this is 120 okay and then the next one which is also green and small so select that and then image that's green you set price that's let's say 130 okay we are done with the green let's proceed to the next color which is orange t-shirt so you click on that and then you select your color and this orange so let's take this today we are taking this we're using this all right so set and then um let's put five okay <laughs> and then we we'll go we are proceeding we are moving forward click here select your image which is orange set image and today is six okay so this is eight dollars eight series come down do the same click here you assign your image set and then this one is going to be ten all right we are done setting the assigning the images and we're also done assigning the prices so we save the what changes to so save changes and this changes have been saved and you can see this pro this product image this is the first image you see when they land on the website so you can just set that okay and then after that you can decide to click on what update okay so you click on update all right okay cool let's view our product so view the product and this is the product as you can see color is here and size is here you see the image all right now you can choose the option which is blue blue and then large and then you see images are corresponding it, it responds to our choice so orange and medium the price to is adjusting and you can add this product to cart and then check out okay so that's how you create variable products in WooCommerce what do you think about this video I hope it's valuable if you have comments just leave them in the comment section I'll be more than willing to help you out as you can see one of my viewers asked this question and I'm making a video to solve or address that question so I hope this video has been valuable and informative don't forget to subscribe to my channel I will do appreciate bye bye have a lovely learning experience